and a catalyst. Oh boy, he lives with one. Oh, he stands swap for lethal. Hey everybody, Liberty here, and with the new patch live, Aatrox being nerfed, Seraphine being nerfed, the meta is opening up and lots of new decks are being played. Specifically today, we're trying out the Gwen Sejuani that's surprisingly strong for an aggro deck. I'll let the game speak for themselves. Enjoy the video. Okay, here's that Fizz Gwen you guys were talking about. We can now see this in action against something that actually is also strong. Actually, I think I'll hold this hand. Screw it. The optional thing I could have gotten rid of is Prodigy. Because it's vulnerable to Quietus. Host. I think we... We gotta answer Raider, because Raider beats Quietus, beats Vile Feast, and beats, um... The... Go Hard. The Winter's Claw strikes. Loses to just a host block, but that's okay. Leave nothing standing. We are taking a lot of damage for this line, but that's okay. That is okay. We get hit by five here. Ow. We do have an unspeakable horror if we need it, but we'll save that for later. I'm sure we'll get more value out of it later. We'll go for the Prodigy here. Loses to Quietus, but... What can you do? Double Prodigy, scary. We'll double Jam Butler here. We'll save Test Speaker for next turn to proc Sejuani. We'll, we won't swing and redeem Prodigy here. We'll just double Butler. Six damage unopposed. Pretty snazzy. You get a lot worse than that. This turn we have a uh, Speaker Yeti with a Horror up. If need be. We should be saving these horrors to hit face for Sejuani, though, realistically. So Going for a Gwen. So. Uh, his Hallowed's pretty gigantic, right? So... We'll just go for a Yeti. Screw it. Mm. Yeah, these are good body blockers. Nothing to fear. He's got exactly the right wit width. A swing here kind of sucks. Ow, that hurts so much, man. But why? I'm cool going this low. I mean, I'm not cool with it, but like... I think we just need to trust the Gwen uh, removal from Sejuani next turn, right? We're going so low, but... I like to call it good. We do have a really juicy swing here. You are cute, and I want to kiss your tiny face, but I will not. You are cute, and I want to kiss your tiny face. Hey yo, says Wani, you good? You good, my gal? We'll Prodigy lead, then swing with all of our Overwhelm. Do, 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 do. Prodigy lead is exact when lethal, and then we get all the Overwhelm through. <laughs> it's looking pretty good, chat. Face me, coward. That's what I'm saying, Sej. What they got that we don't. Not much, honestly. Not much. Maybe best case scenario, they venge the Sejuani, but then we're still packing, like, major heat, right? We could do even more damage if we're willing to not pull, kill the Gwen. I think we're offering enough damage as it is, because we have Heat Horrors and Test Speaker coming out next turn. Oh, he goes for the Quietus. That's, that's totally fair, right? Totally fair. We'll do this then. The Ooh, 
Do, do. Not lethal, but we're working on it. Okay, I have Nakaburo's box test speaker. Very fair. As long as the Gwen's removed, I'm happy. Brazilian. Share the Sejuani and Gwen deck. Yes, it is in the deck command, so I'll just do this. Do, 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 do. It is very fun. We're having a lot of success with it. Fizz, sure. Um, what are the odds that his Fizz has a spell this turn? What do you guys think? Because Fizz definitely kills us with his Hollow, so we'll, we'll try to remove him now. They are an ass. Oh, we got him! I, I bet that the Fizz could have defended himself with um with more mana up, so we had to call his bluff. The name of the treadmill? Uh, Thamp 4. It's literally just a cheap one off Amazon. Yeah, we, well, we quit history. We couldn't have let him pass, right? We couldn't have let him get into a Fizz turn with this much Hallowed. It, it, it was it wasn't a read guys it was a calculated risk there were, he had four cards the enemy deck does not run a lot of like fast and burst stuff it's a lot of slow stuff so like we could we had we had to push it then when they only had two mana but beyond four uh, yeah I'll, I'll get you the link I'll find it for you uh so we're gonna be using a three sisters to block spray in here so I'm just gonna play this super careful here. And uh and we'll work on winning next turn. Do, 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 do. Into clear skies or storms, we sail. Ow. Um, I think this is when we just horror here. And body block. The brewery leader is scary. And then we'll freeze the um we'll freeze the zap spray pen. Through the coral. Okay, so we could slow play this. Let's see, is there any way they start free attacks? Not that I'm worried about, but do we pose lethal on them if we open? I think we're more likely if we do Tusk Speaker. Mm. It's hard to say, right? I want a Tusk Speaker and then uh, Cygnus here. It might be the wrong line. Maybe opening would have been better, but I don't know. I like offering more aggression in this position. Dangerous water. We're Island Navigator. Um, let's see here. I think we just go like this. You've made your path. Why are you here? That's a lot of stuff. Okay, there we go. There we go. Woo! 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 Good stuff. That Fizz Gwen deck is pretty scary, but uh, we gotta press our advantage while we have it, right? GG's. On this channel, I don't like to ask you for subs. Instead, I like to play a rock, paper, scissors for it. We go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. If I win, you got a sub. Rules the rules. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Win for rock. Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay. Gwen, Viego, Shadow Isle, Mono, Shadow Isle, so they're running Fearsomes. So we need Fearsome Blockers. This is a... Actually, this is a fine hand. Holding a Sejuani early is a, a good tempo tool into something like this. And we have our Gwen, huge. We got a Speaker on Defense, Raider on Attack. Hmm. 
Time to jam. Time to dance. Time to do some damage. You're wearing that. You're wearing that. A bit underdressed. He's playing like he has the four mana reveal a mist wraith, but I doubt he wants to trade a mist wraith into any of this. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Oh, just a glimpse, sure. Yes, fair. It's our first, our second Blender proc. We'll probably just jam Gwen on Curb. He's on four mana. Or we could just jam down a Yeti. Well, Gwen's good because then five turn we have Raider, Doom Beast. Let's see, what's their hollowed at? One. So Gwen's a four. Um, so we Yeti and he can't block, or he can't swing. Very good. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Oh, wait, what? I could have sworn his Hallowed is at one. It's our, or our Hallowed is at one. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Yo, yo. Okay, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. My goodness, what is all this? The midnight rubble. I'm encroaching so mist, sure. Well, if he has an encroaching mist, we just won't attack with our host. Okay, we're just playing for sedge level here. We need a uh, one block proc next turn, which will probably do through Doom Beast, like a Raider Doom Beast situation. Mm -hmm. But it really depends on when he drops down. Maybe he goes Viego. His Gwen is kind of scary, but we have a host to deal with it, so I'm not worried. Yeah, I think we Raider Doom here. Viego's pretty big. Raider blocks Viego for free, though. Interesting choice. The whole Gwen thing is rather annoying. I will not squander the great gift I've been given. Because we're on a Sez turn, though, so. We're on a very scary says churn. <laughs> we do have a venge up. I think we focus the Gwen. Carved from the savage cold. We do have a Gwen's thread the needle that will kind of be our uh, big combo piece here. Try to force open the lethal. We're on Hallowed 2, so we'll have Gwen kill Gwen. And then we'll kind of figure out what's going on from there. Please Butler, sure. So we'll do like this. I mean, Hallowed 2, so... Bristle, Actually, we'll just do this. Screw it. Nothing to fear. What you got? A uh, vengeance would actually be ideal here because then we can uh, we can thread the needle appropriately. Appropriately. I'm hoping he goes for a vengeance. Okay, perfect. Um, so threading the needle here, we probably just kill the Viego.
Uh, actually, we go for lethal, right? Because if we thread the needle into the Gwen, we win. Yeah, there we go. GG's. Allow me to assist you. This deck's pretty strong, chat. Pretty strong. Yes, yes, yes. Free LP. Do, do, do. 105. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, Draven Jinx. Discard aggro. Wish me luck. It's gonna be rough. Double host open with an unspeakable horror. We I mean, could go a lot worse, right? Could be a lot worse. Because we're running aggro, we don't have any of the priority and control we normally do. So we can bait the removal mana. But if we don't have it, we don't have it, right? I do need Plunder proc, so we're actually in a swing here because he has Spider on two, and I'd rather not deal with that. There it is. Yep. A brief engagement, but a joyous one. Yep, yep. He's had a very slow layout, so now we're on curve to speaker unspeakable, which is very ideal here. I don't know if I even want to unspeakable, but we could if need be. The Gwen swinging back is really nice on four here, though. Nearly, no matter how we trade, right? Draven alone will happily sack a host for free. Got access, need fit. Go ahead, take my host. A bit underdressed. Go for it. Then we'll attack with Tusk Speaker Gwen next turn. <laughs> and we've got it. We're keeping Hora Mana up, which is pretty snifty. My goodness. We're curving says Wani really well as well. Gwen's a really great anti-aggro tool. Just the drain is uh, pretty invaluable. Pretty invaluable. Does he go for the spider tusk beaker trade? I might if I were him. Oh, interesting. Goes for the grenadier. Um, okay. That that yeah no that is best for him sure. That's fair. His attack's pretty aggressive, but it's like fine, right? We're still so healthy. And we're curving the Sejuani amazingly here. I might even let the Scuttler through. That might be a mistake, but. Time for the money. Makers. Okay, so we just do this then. And this. That's a lot of damage, man. Mm. Yeah, we'll do this. A oh, vision, hard cast. Okay, bye bye, Gwen. That is okay. We've got a Yeti and a Tusk Speaker, so we're vibing. When my song ends, men die. The real problematic thing is that there's a Jinx coming down. That'd be really bad. Really bad. How Spooter. Time for some Overwhelm gameplay. Let's go. Says you, one time. You are cute, and I want to kiss your tiny face. But I will not. <laughs> it is good to see you, Sejuani. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's got Jinx Rocket. But we're packing a punch, so... Do I care about Jinx Rocket? Not terribly. No, sir. Do not care. 
I probably okay. He has. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. I probably should have put. What am I doing? I should have put the hallowed on something that was uh, more effective. Also, my Sejuani positioning was amateurish. Uh oh. Discard aggro player might have my number here. Okay. We do have another Sichuani. We got a vengeance to remove the jinx. Now it's a party. So we lose on him developing, probably. I think we're just forced to insta-venge the jinx. Will Yeti block Draven, Venge Jinx, Body block, uh, Sedge block Spider? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, fingers crossed he doesn't have Insta Jinx Rocket. Right? Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Fingers, fingers crossed, crossed, crossed. Come on, come on. Let me survive. Yes. We're living. We're living. Living for long? That's not what I said. But we're living. 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 No Sabatier. Okay. We're in a pretty good spot. I think we just opened Swing with Sej, honestly. Because I doubt he can remove the Sej in a convincing way that can't we can't uh, get through with the uh, Fury of the North. GG's. Okay. Woo. Discard aggro matchups are scary. We survive. Spooky, scary discard aggro. Not strong enough to fight us. Okay. Gosh dang it. Why do we run into a bunch of Feel the Rush all of a sudden? No one's playing Feel the Rest, and then we queue up and we see a bunch of it. Bro. You know? Bro. We are attacking on even, so this Gwen on four isn't going to be the worst thing ever. We do start with an Ancient Yeti, which is quite nice. We'll open host. Do we develop on two? Um, I think so. Can't be bad, right? Ooh, definitely host. Host, 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 host. Go for a vial? Sure. The host jam even into the vial is good. Just because uh, we get the plunder proc and we get a bunch of hollowed ticking. And hollowed's kind of the, uh, a lot of the hidden damage in this deck. Because overwhelm hollowed is amazing. Amazing. Oh, if he's gonna jam, we'll jam Prodigy. My goodness. He does have a lot of mana. Oh! That's a lot of damage. Okay, Harsh Wind, sure. Do we get in two? Oh, four with Gwen. He doesn't block with the uh, old ones. That's uh, that's a choice. It is in fact a choice. Do you have the Trundle, maybe? Jam Trundle. Oh, that's why I keep having problems with the list because I uh, like bases and stuff. Throws down Trundle a curve before. Okay, he's just jamming us. He's like, what are you gonna do about it? Mm. Pull out of nothing, that's what. Okay, fine. We'll answer him with a bunch of Overwhelm. This is a full board swing. Like, you're gonna disrespect me like that, Mr. Opponent? Eh? You're gonna disrespect me like that? Well, get jammed. Yee <laughs> All the damage. Okay, another harsh wind, sure. That's okay. Still doing a lot of damage. 
Yeah, enough last freeze. So we're burning a lot of resources. That's good. Uh, we will totally do this. Gotta slow down the mana round. Please. For the love of everything. Slow down the mana round. Okay, five damage. Gotta figure out five damage. Kip and I will scout ahead. Won't we, Kip? This is three, potentially. Okay, he's on a ten turn. Obliterate everything. Deal three to all other units? Uh, that's fine. Dude, that's a lot of hollowed. Right. Uh, we could just gem a Sej. Sej is good. And we could stance swap the Gwen here, maybe. Keep her healthy. What's he doing? Just give me better, closer to Gwen level? Weird. Strange. Bum 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 a breeze, sure, that's fine. And a catalyst. Oh boy, lives with one. Oh, he stands swap for lethal. Okay. Guys, we have lost so many times today into this uh feel the rush list. And now someone greeted, and that's why we win. Right? That's why we win. Just because he greeted. There we go. Thank goodness. Just a stitch in time. There you go, Gwen. Wouldn't it be funny? Ah, gosh dang it. Why is there so much Feel the Rush on Ladder today? So much. Oh, there you go. You got the standing table, standing desk. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Why so much Feel the Rush, man? Why? Why? Why so much Feel the Rush? Why so much Feel the Rush? I guess Ezreal, Seraphine, and Aatrox got slowed down. And maybe that was the uh, the speed thing that that they needed to make all the difference, right? Yeah, Piamp. Hell yeah. Go for it. Do, 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 do. That's a fantastic idea. It looks like this Feel the Rush list is running a, a very just turbo ramp heavy version of the list, though. Because I don't see them like av I like I haven't gotten Avalanche or anything for a while. You know, it's kind of weird. Kind of strange. Kind of weird, you know? Like, normally you'd expect to get Avalanche, but I guess if they're running, uh, faces, they can't really be avalanching. The trolls are going to war! Trundle bundle, fair. We'll just go super wide. Trundle hits for free. Do, 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 do. Are we on a dangerous turn next turn? If we let him mana one more time? Let's see. Um, he is on 10 mana, that's fine. I don't really want to use an unspeakable horror this early on the faces. We'll just jam it. Oh, that's pretty good. Not complain about 8 damage and removing two of his faces, right? Uh, and oh, there's the avalanche. Okay, took us long enough. There it is. So they do run it. The waves Got it. What a strange, wonderful world. Got it. 
I'll offer the trundle removal. Normally this is a mistake, but I don't think he's running many of the tricks that um, Freljord normally has. And I think uh, just the trundle removal is probably going to save us a lot later. Also, he hasn't been ramping, which is really big for us, right? Like, that's really important. We'll just single commit here because now we have a lethal swing. Like, he was in a, um, covered in ice or whatever turn. So we had to pass forward. But yeah, Amp, it is, it is hard at first for sure. But like, it's really not that bad once you get into the habit of it, you know? We're on Hallowed 5. This is lethal. Um, but we could just get benched, so we'll set 20. Carved from the savage cold. Maybe that was a mistake, we'll see. Oh, maybe not. Ride onward. Maybe not. He's just benched the uh, Cloven Way, okay. Good read on our part. Get in some more damage. We're getting into really scary turn territory. Really scary. What's he got coming my way? A Trinomir? Interesting. You picked the wrong tribe, Um. I don't know what to do. We'll, we'll have the Trinomir swing and then we'll kind of evaluate from there. It's like we could... Let's just entomb him, I think. I think entomb and then we'll have Butler pull Ice Pillar. He used to walk a lot. Yeah, that's fair. Nah, walking's good. Walking's very good. For health and well-being. Pew 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 pew. Me. Stand and fight. I, to I hope he doesn't have another vengeance. He has freezes though. Harsh winds. We have exact lethal, I think. Barring another freeze. Because we could um Like, we could do this. Wield your fury. And then this. And then we'll stance swap for lethal. Giving a, uh, a... Uh, Bram stance. The winter's claw endures. Does he have healing? Uh, do we want to go for it, guys? I think we just send it. Screw it. We shall send it. Hey! There we go. Mm, calculated. That feels good. And thank you all for watching. If you want to climb with the Sej Gwen deck, it'll be in the description. I'll, I'll be trying out some of the rest of the meta, probably. There's this ramp, the older rush deck that's going around that's pretty nasty. I'll see you all tomorrow. Woohoo!